what you really need is the sound of honesty. So if you're dealing with speakers that hype the high end, then by the time you walk away and play it in your friend's car, uh, you'll find that since the high end was hyped uh, in the mixing process, you're going to hear, you're not going to hear the same kind of high end that you heard in your studio. So it's crucial to me that a monitor be honest, that the monitor will show the goodness as well as the flaws. And I like to think of a good monitor as being a magnifying glass, if you will, or, or a microscope where you have a sound, the sound may have a frequency bump someplace or a frequency drop someplace. You want your monitor to indicate this. Um, because if there is a pimple in, in the sound, you can very, very easily choose that frequency. I say, oh, that's a little wrong. So I'll either raise the frequency or lower the frequency. And by the time you're finished mixing and you walk out, and and then is the true test, really, of the monitor. And this is something that everybody should try, no matter what monitor they're using. Take tracks that you know intimately and play those tracks through your new monitors. They will tell you just how true they are. I mean, nothing will tell you as true as as, as the results of a good audio analysis. But one of the choices of engineers over the last 20 some odd years has been to use um, Donald Fagan's record, The Nightfly. And I still use it as well. I, I know those sounds so intimately. And having heard the production of it and actually understanding what I was hearing before the record was released, that's the CD that I'm going to put in, and I'm going to know, oh, there's a little too much bass, oh, there's not enough treble, whatever. And when I put it in and listened on these lovely speakers, I was blown away. I felt I could close my eyes and feel as though I were in the studio while it was being mixed. It was just a fantastic experience. What I'm really saying is that they're flat. Flat means... There's not a hump in the bass, there's not a hump in the mid, a hump in the treble, or that it's missing certain frequencies. And that's what you want from a really good monitor. You want the truth. Sometimes the truth isn't that pleasant, but that's a really good thing because you know then that you might have to make some alterations because, again, as, as I said, they're microscopes, they're magnifying glasses. They're going to let you know just how close you are to real life.